G'day Fizz3071 students. This video is intended to show you how to use uh, GNU plot um, on uh, through VS Code while being SSH'd into the um, SMP teaching server. So as you can see again, uh, down the bottom left hand corner of this um, of the window, I am SSH'd into the SMP teaching server. Okay. Now new plot is a uh, scripting program that essentially allows you to plot uh, plot things. It's that simple, okay? And that's kind of pretty much all it does, okay? It's just a nice um, free open source uh, plotting program. Uh, now you could just use, uh, you could use Python or you could use MATLAB in this course to do your plotting. Um, however, later in the course, uh, we do do some animations and um, there's some new plot uh, scripts that are provided. So learning new plot now will be beneficial in the future um, in terms of the support that you'll get through the course. So um, because we're not remote desktoped into the SMP teaching server, right, where, where there's a whole graphical interface that we can interact with like we would on any kind of operating system, um, we actually need to make scripts uh, and run new plot and generate um, PNGs, okay, which is essentially how new plot is designed to be run, okay. It's not really a, a um, it's not really superly designed for for that graphical um, pop up window. It, it 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 can be done, however, most of the time it's it's um, used in this way. So what I have here um, is just a short script that's going to plot this function sine x divided by x. All right. Now, uh, there's a few things that you just have to make sure of. Um, this set terminal um, to PNG, okay, that's gonna make sure that the that the output of the this script that we're going to run is gonna be in the PNG format. And then I have the output name um, with the extension .png, okay? These extra points here, this size um, and this crop here, they're just added things that we can we can put on that, that let new plot no okay this is how we should shape the window okay we get rid of any extended white spacing all that kind of nice stuff that makes the plot look good uh, these lines here they're just setting the axis and the title like what's explained in worksheet 2 on on um, if you were remote desktop into the system and then we have this final line that actually plots the function that we want to plot so to run this script, okay, because you're probably like, all right, cool, I, I kind of get what's going on here. There's some scripts, there's some plots. How do I actually generate this um, this image here? So to run this image, um, the way that we do that is we come down into the terminal, okay, our little window down here, and we make sure that we're in the right directory, okay? So let's double check and, and see where we are, right, by doing pwd. Okay, we're in documents. Well, we need to be in worksheet two. Okay, and that, and that's in documents, right? We can see that by this ls function. So we'll cd into worksheet two. Um, we'll double check. Yep, we're here, and we can also see that that um, uh, that file, that GNU plot file, this one that's that's up here in the editor. Um, we can see that that is actually in that um, in the directory that we're in. So the way that we run this new plot file is we type new plot and then we go, we just write the file name, test new plot with that extension. Keep in mind, new plot files don't really require a specific extension. Um, I think you can get away with no extension, but uh, I just like putting the GNU to um, for, for my own reference so that when I'm looking through code or looking through files, I know that .gnu is a um, is a new plot uh, script that I've written. Okay, so it's new plot and the name of the file, and then just enter. And keep in mind, new plot doesn't really give a lot of error messaging. So again, just because it's been run doesn't necessarily mean it's worked. But the best way to check that it's been worked is we we go and have a look at the file that it's actually produced. So you can see here that it's produced this test image.png file up here in our work. Um, in our working directory, okay? And that's what the that's what the output we gave it as um, in the script, which is great, okay? So we'll open that up and we can see VS Code generates or, or produces this nice um, image of this PNG, which is that function, that sine x divided by x. 
So that's essentially how you use uh, new plot uh, to see the plots um, using VS Code while connected to that SMP teaching server. Thanks.